A hydraulic jam is a sudden transition from a high velocity flow to a slower motion. Related processes include hydraulic jam in translation such as up river to Nambi bar, tidal bar and positive surge. In all cases, the flow is characterized by a sudden rise in free surface elevation. In the system of reference following the jump front, the equation of conservation of mass and momentum gives a series of relationships between the flow property in front and behind the jump front. When hydraulic jumps on board take place in a natural system with irregular channel cross-section, the theoretical development of the equation of conservation of mass and momentum is more complicated than thus obtained in a rectangular channel. The following movie shows the tidal bar of the Garonne River at La Trenne, France, in 2015. The camera is looking downstream and the bar is propagating upstream. The survey of the channel cross-section showed an irregular cross-sectional shape. In the system of reference following the jump front, the integral form of the equation of conservation of mass and of momentum can be derived for a horizontal channel. Using the following notations, on neglecting flow resistance, the momentum principle gives a relationship between the ratio of the conjugate cross-section area a2 over a1 as a function of the fraud number in which b and b prime are characteristic with related to the channel cross-sectional property. In this equation, the fraud number is defined as the relative inflow velocity v1 plus u divided by the square root of g time the ratio of the initial cross-section area divided by the initial free surface width. This fraud number definition is identical to the expression derived from energy consideration. But here, this development is based upon momentum consideration. And when u equals zero, the solution corresponds to a stationary hydraulic jump. The following graph shows the relationship between the ratio of conjugate cross-section area and fraud number for field observation in tidal bore natural system. For all this data, the cross-sectional properties were carefully measured. On the same graph, the application of the momentum equation, as shown above, is presented with hollow black circles. And the Bélanger equation for rectangular channel is the solid line. First, the data marked show a marked effect of the irregular cross-section. In plain word, the Bélanger equation, based upon the assumption of rectangular channel, is inappropriate for an irregular channel. Secondly, the field data are predicted reasonably well by the complete form of the momentum principle. Third, the definition of the fraud number can differ quite substantially from the traditional approximation, v over square root of gd, for field data in natural irregular channel, the difference may run from 12 to 75 percent. Finally, the above development may be expanded to include the effect of flow resistance on the jump property in an irregular channel. The results show a smaller ratio of conjugate death with increasing flow resistance to satisfy momentum consideration. However, the effect of flow resistance decreases with increasing fraud number, becoming small for upstream fraud number greater than 2 to 3, depending upon the cross-sectional properties.